show you the bobbin winding first. This is the bobbin. And I'll also show you where that goes in a moment. It, the thread holder on the spool goes on here. And what I found the instructions once you bring it off from the top. But I'm going to use a large spool of thread just for economy. I'll send you one you can use if you like to place it up close to the machine. Go over top come through this hook. This is a tensioner. It's got a little spring loaded kind of like a washer that goes on there. So you need to pull the string under it and it puts just a little bit of tension. Take the thread through one of the holes. Hold on to it. It goes on this thing. Spindle. This little cam here can be adjusted Okay, the spindle pushes in. That cam can be adjusted for how much thread you want to wind on. And it's probably set at a good standard. There's a little instruction tag here about winding the bobbins. And this uh, wheel, rim, you pull it out. They're calling it a hand wheel. It's small. Okay. Turn the machine on. Here on the lower right side, and with this pushed against, or it's up close, it doesn't go all against the threads while it winds out. As you can see it'll pretty much just take care of itself. Obviously you don't want to be doing this with the parts engaged, the sewing part. That's what this is like a clutch. It unhooks the rest of the machine. It gets here. It should see it starts to slip. It's got a clutch in there. So you'll take that off, push push that back out of the way again, pull that off, and you can cut this. While I'm on this side, there's a little V groove here in the back of this stem, and that is a thread cutter. When you're sewing, you can lift up your piece and bring it, just place it down in there, and it's a thread cutter, so it'll cut the thread for you. 